Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? So guys, today's video, I am just super excited for it. If you did not know, now you're about to know. Rihanna dropped a fragrance. It is a part of her new Fenty fashion house and I am super excited that I'm here today to unbox it and review it for you guys. So this fragrance is her Fenty Eau de Parfum and it is called Bridgetown and a little background on the fragrance. So Rihanna is said to be the best smelling celebrity like in the whole entire world. Like people say that she smells like absolute heaven. So once this fragrance came out it kind of like shook the internet. People were speculating that the fragrance might smell like Killian's Love Don't Be Shy which is her signature fragrance many people have mixed feelings about love don't be shy but there was still speculation that it might be a spin on love don't be shy so you know there was that people also thought that it might smell like um her skincare also there was speculation that it might smell like her classic scent rebel fleur so you know everybody was trying to get their hands on this perfume fenty beauty actually did a thing where if you spent 40 dollars or more on their site you actually got a sample of the fragrance so a lot of people ran and tried to get their hands on it that way however i was lucky enough to get early access to the scent so the scent actually does not come out until august 10th but today is august 5th and <laughs> It got delivered to my door. So according to Fenty, it is definitely a unisex scent. It is mainly comprised of middle notes. The notes are tangerine, sour blueberry, geranium, Bulgarian rose, magnolia, musk, and patchouli. And once I heard patchouli, y'all know if you if you've been following me, you know I am a sucker for patchouli. Patchouli is one of my all-time favorite notes, so I knew that I would probably like this scent. Also, according to Rihanna, this scent is inspired by some of her favorite places, such as Barbados, where she grew up new york la and paris so she wanted to make a scent that kind of reminds you of all those places in one he also partnered with jacques cavier he is a world renowned perfumer he works for lvmh and he's the nose behind some of your favorite fragrances by tom ford Jason margella's replica and louis vuitton so this is a finely crafted scent. Rihanna says that she wants people to feel empowered, confident, and sexy when they wear their scent. So I'm super excited to see how it smells. Also on their site, it says that this scent is where sensual meets seductive. So I'm curious about that. So the scent retails for $120 and I know, I know, I know. <laughs> y'all are gonna be like she is trying to break the bank but if you are a true fragrance lover it might definitely be a great investment it is 2.5 fluid ounces so that's definitely a full-size bottle that could probably last you a year and beyond so you know definitely consider the investment and like i said again the fragrance is supposed to launch august 10th however i actually purchased the fragrance august 2nd and it got to my doorstep august 5th so the shipping was really really quick and I, I was I was excited as soon as I got the email saying that my package was going to be delivered to my house same day I I lit up I could not wait to get my package so here is the package you know a nice size package it does have a little bit of weight to it and we are just going to dive right in and open it Oh wow oh wow this packaging is really cute on the inside and I like how um with the package it doesn't like scream Fenty all over the package because you guys know people be stealing packages so when your package is just like Fenty all over or Sephora all over or you know whatever the brand is people are more inclined to steal it so I like how it's very discreet and then when you open it it's giving very much branding and marketing I love that so it just says, you know, the little Fenty skin design inside of the box. So the first thing I see when I open up my package is the return. Is this the return um, label? It's like um, it tells you what you got. And then there's tissue. So we're just going to move this over. Ooh, and it's just wrapped up in tissue. So it definitely was wrapped up tight so that it would not break. And here is the box. 
So here is the box that was inside the box and it's definitely giving me very much luxury. I love how it is packaged. It's something very simple but like it just means a lot that the perfume wasn't just thrown into that shipping box. That it was actually like carefully wrapped. It just, I don't know, it just screams luxury to me. So let's go ahead and open it. I couldn't save the packaging. I really was trying to save the packaging, but I can't because everything is taped together. But it's definitely still wrapped some more. It's wrapped in the clear plastic, and then there's the little logo sticker. We also got a picture of Rihanna that was attached to it, so it's super cute. Perfect for, um, you know, spraying the fragrance. If you don't want to spray it on yourself, you can just spray it on this paper. So right off the bat, I thought that the box was going to be like a velvety material, but it's still a very good material. It's like a blue cardboard, but it's very sturdy if you wanted to display this box somewhere on like a vanity or something. It's cool for that. You open it like this. So it just slides open and oh my goodness, like... I cannot wait to smell this. Now, I will say I love how the blue box definitely contrasts beautifully with the bottle. It's even very much luxury, very much black luxury, and I love that about it. It just screams luxury. So here is just how the bottle looks. It is in this beautiful amber color. Oh, it's just so, like, sexy. Like, just imagine this on your perfume tray. Just sexy. Okay, first whiff of it while I sprayed it, it gave very powdery, but let's see. Mm, it's definitely very fruity. I smell that tangerine and that blueberry. Like the tangerine and the blueberry are very, very prominent. Ugh, it smells so good. Mm, guys, guys, this, oh my gosh. So at first spray, it definitely opens with that beautiful tangerine and sour blueberry. And it's like that twist from the sour blueberry. It's something that we've never really smelled before. Like I've had scents that have blueberry notes, but the sour blueberry just gives it that kick. And like, it's just super exciting. So, all right, let's spray it on my wrist and see how it pairs with my body chemistry. So we're gonna put this down. Again, I'm definitely getting the tangerine and the sour blueberry with the first sniff. But the more I smell it, it's drying down to like a flowery, like rosy musk. Mm. This fragrance definitely has a powdery sweetness, but I definitely feel like you can smell a majority of the notes. Like I definitely smell the tangerine. I definitely smell the uh, blueberry. I definitely smell the Bulgarian rose. Like I smell one of those flowers, either mag either the magnolia or the rose. I I'm leaning toward more towards the rose. And I definitely smell the musk. However, it's not very patchouli driven. I'm kind of disappointed about that because y'all know I love patchouli. Like oh, something about patchouli is just so sexy and just ugh, love it. I don't want to say I'm disappointed in the scent. Because I feel like it's a very unique scent and I feel like that's something that I really wanted and needed for my fragrance collection. However, I definitely was expecting it to smell differently. I was expecting like a vanilla gourmand. Only because um, Killian's Don't Be Shy, which is her signature scent, definitely has gourmand notes of oranges, marshmallow, and vanilla. So I was expecting something like that. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Definitely a vanilla e gourmand. Kind of similar to Killian's Princess, maybe. I don't know. But another thing, when I found out that this was a unisex fragrance, I also was a bit, like, uh, scared about it. Only because, like, with a lot of fragrances, it's usually either more feminine or more masculine for example with Killian's collection with princess kissing under the sunset all of those fragrances those are supposed to be unisex but I definitely feel like under the sunset and princess are more feminine and the other two are more masculine I definitely feel like this is a true unisex scent I would not be mad if my man walked around smelling like this like I wouldn't it doesn't smell girly at all 
at all. Like, I, I really, I really wouldn't mind. It just smells so good. Like, I just don't know how to describe it. But I definitely would not be mad if my man smelled like me. Like, in this instance, I would not be mad. Now, I feel like this is a fragrance that you definitely can leave by itself or you could pair with another fragrance. I like to mix and match my fragrances. So, that might be something that I end up doing. Simply because this scent is very soft. Like, you smell it and it's, you know, it's very prominent but i kind of do feel like this scent is missing something and maybe it's because it's comprised mostly of middle notes maybe it's missing some like grounding base notes i don't know but i definitely would try to pair it with like a gucci flora something like that something more in like the floral and musky family just to see how it blends together because i feel like it would blend together beautifully but i definitely do love this by itself i can see this being an everyday scent this scent is really cool i can see this being a year-round scent like when i smell it it definitely does give me like summer but like in the cooler months of summer i definitely would wear this in the fall and the winter because it is a little spicy but it's not as spicy spicy as other fall scents i have like libre and you know scents like that but i definitely am very satisfied with this scent this was a great blind buy because y'all know no one knew exactly how it smelled like you know there were a couple reviews out already that's why i'm glad that i was able to take the time and do this review but i'm definitely glad that i made this purchase guys i'm super super happy a great i keep smelling it because it's just a great addition to any collection i feel like because it's unisex anybody would like this scent like it's kind of hard in my opinion not to like this scent maybe it's just me i don't know but i definitely do plan on dating this scent more i'll probably wear it every day this week just to see how long it lasts and how you know it starts to pair with my body oils and my body chemistry and if you guys made it this far into the video i would like to announce that i will be doing a giveaway of this fragrance guys this is my first giveaway on my channel i hit 1k back in february i think january or february i had 1k and i really wanted to do something special with my subscribers especially the people who've been like with me ride or die since the beginning so once this fragrance came out i was like this would be the perfect time to do a giveaway like this fragrance is all the hype it's breaking the internet why not do a giveaway and give back to my loyal subscribers so i have my own but i also bought a second one for a lucky subscriber so you will be winning this fragrance and I'm just super excited that I'm able to give back to you guys. So the rules for this giveaway are to most importantly be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Comment down below this video what your favorite fragrance is. Make sure you are following me on TikTok and Instagram. And make sure you repost a flyer that I will be posting on my Instagram to your story and tag me. Do not forget to tag me. If you guys don't tag me, I will not know that you reposted it to your story because I won't get the notification. So make sure you tag me. So today is currently thursday august 5th this video will be going up sunday august 8th and you guys have until friday august 13th to enter the giveaway like i said do not forget any of these steps they will be down below in the description box so you guys are reminded do not skip any of the steps i will know don't follow me just to enter the giveaway and then unfollow loyal subscribers only and yeah, like I said, I will be posting the flyer on my Instagram and I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway that Sunday. So Sunday, August 15th, I will be announcing the winner and guys get excited because one of you will be winning a free bottle of this. So instead of paying $120 for this, I already paid it for you. I already paid it for you. Get excited. So yeah, don't walk, run to enter the giveaway oh and i also forgot to say that make sure under the post that i will be posting on my instagram to tag a friend so all of these steps will be down in the description box and they also will be under the instagram post that i post so everything will be cohesive if you're a little confused as to you know what i want you guys to do so make sure you tag a friend tell a friend to tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> to enter the giveaway to follow me to subscribe because we are just a growing family and i'm just super excited about the growth that has happened and that is still occurring i don't know if you guys noticed but i've been super consistent for the past I want to say like two months and it's going to stay that way so yeah i hope you guys are ex as excited as i am because i'm super excited super like thankful and grateful so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye loves wow.